Hello, my name is... Oh my god, my voice. I'm sorry. I went out last night and I was screaming like the entire time. Um, hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today we are going to be delving back into the world of hot Instagram boys. You know, our beloved hottie patates with the swimmer's bodies. You know, there is no lack thereof of the swimmer's body. I just want to preface this video by saying there's these boys are really doing nothing wrong. You know, they're hot and they know it. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, they can be obsessed with themselves. It's not illegal. If you want to see someone who's obsessed with theirself, go to my Instagram, okay? Honestly, I think it takes guts and gusto to thirst trap because guess what? I wouldn't be able to do it, you know, in a serious way. It takes, I mean, really they're quite brave. All praise the thirst trappers. Now let's just get into it, shall we? Let's see, okay, so he seems extremely hot, rich, and dresses well. So is he boyfriend material? My money is on yes. These types of posts are so funny to me because it's like, it'll be the most handsome guy you have ever seen. Like literally looks like he was sculpted, all right? Like the Greek gods are jealous of him, okay? And then the caption would be like, would you kiss him? Like, yes, Chelsea. I think there are a lot of girls who would maybe like to kiss an extremely attractive man, okay? I wouldn't even mind it. Oh my god, oh my god. He, did he did not- not. Okay, but seriously, honestly, if I were to do this, I would literally chop off all my fingers and break my wrist, so... Good on you, Tyler. But you know, Colin, there's an easier way to stop the fan. Okay, just turn it off. Like, does this guy stop his car by putting it in neutral, getting out of the car, running in front of it, and then putting his hand in front of it and stopping it with pure force? Okay, just use the brakes. And see, this is just proof that if an attractive person does anything, literally anything, they can get likes. I mean, this guy could upload a video of him opening a bag of Cheetos, and then it would get posted on like a hot boy, you know, like Instagram account, and the caption would be like, <laughs> anyone hungry all of a sudden? Like if a conventionally ugly and overweight person did that, they would just get lectured about diabetes. This is Victor, everyone say hi, hey, yo, what's good? Button up your shirt, sir. The teacher said, put those titties away. We understand that you're a foreign exchange student, but here in America, we like to keep our nipples inside of our shirt for math class. I mean, we can't even see his lower half. Who knows his ass could be out too. Nipples galore, cheeks out. I mean, listen, I know we're in human anatomy class, but you don't need to, you know, give us a demonstration. The teacher's like, excuse me, Giorgio, but um, could you put your body parts away, please? Could you save the massive dump truckery for after school hours? Hey, little Joe from you, a little, little Joe Goldberg, season one, season two, and three. I guess he killed people throughout all the seasons. It's giving very much that. I think this whole genre of POVs where like a hot boy commits some heinous crime or murder and it's supposed to be like hot and attractive is like very interesting. But for real, why are people so attracted to this? Like imagine your friend being like, so what was the first thing you noticed about your boyfriend? And then you're like, his wanted poster. Would you try a sip of him? What? Are you asking me if I would put him into a meat grinder and then blend him up like a smoothie and then take a sip of him? Because I wouldn't. That doesn't really sound very enjoyable for me. Or him. Especially him. Boys with eyeliner, would y'all want this to become a trend? Yes. Girls, do y'all find this attractive? I really want to jump from B's to f***ing triple D's. Don't we all? Focus on your f***ing upper chest more. Bah, like do some of these. So when they ask girls, do y'all find this attractive? Well, I do like women and his boobs are pretty big, so I guess yes. Nice, nice rack, rack Kyle. Kyle. But for real, his chest is bigger than mine. <laughs> and I'm not even self-deprecating. It's, it's literally just factual. You know, I say it's not self-deprecating, but saying it out loud, I feel slightly deprecated. Also, he says he wants triple Ds. Now, Josh, isn't that a little excessive? I mean, you do whatever you want. You know, if you want to lift those heavy metal plates until your boobs are so big that you need a beige granny bra to support them, then by all means do it. But having big boobs is a struggle. 
So I've heard. So count your blessings that you don't have to lug around two watermelons on your chest, all right? I mean, I feel blessed that, I mean, what, I have grapes at the most? <laughs> but keep up the good work. You look great, so. <laughs> okay, girls, so we completely forgot about the boys who play basketball. I kind of wanted him to miss. But oh my god, you're so right. Before I saw this post, completely forgot about basketball players. If someone would have asked me, who was LeBron James? I would have been like, I have no idea. What does he play, hockey? Also, the caption below is tag your player friends. So does that mean tag someone who plays basketball or tag someone who's a whore? Would you let him say this to you, even though you have a BF? I like you, I don't give a F about your boyfriend. Come on, let's link and do what I do. I can beat it up with no hands, so talented. First of all, if I'm in a committed, loving relationship with someone who I trust, someone I have a foundation with, who I see a future with, of course I'm gonna cheat on them with you, Blake, in the back of your Toyota Camry for about seven minutes tops. I think that seems like something that would be very good very for my well-being well and overall and quality, quality of life. life. I'm actually pro-adultery. Okay, if you are in a committed relationship right now, I actually advise you to cheat. Multiple times, even. That's my political stance. I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. I'm a red flag. I'm obviously kidding. If anyone cheated on me, I don't think... I'm not the type to murder. my mind. Just for a sec, imagine he's looking at you. What was that at the end? Why does his face at the end look like he just heard me say something like completely out of pocket or that I, it looks like I like farted or something. Like I'm imagining him looking at this girl being like, oh my god, she's so beautiful. I think she might be my soulmate. Oh damn, did she just rip one? Okay, y'all girls should start giving your boyfriend's chin hickey to show other girls sign. Okay, duly noted. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. I agree. You know, before my significant other goes out, I attach my mouth to their chin and just go into overdrive, like a Dyson vacuum attached to a car battery. My girlfriend's like, babe, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm like, all right, come here. You know the drill. But even if I saw a person out in public with a chin hickey, my first thought would be, oh, they fell and hit their chin. That's why it's bruised, not oh, you know, their significant other is acting like a mosquito now and all of a sudden sucking on their chin to mark their territory. Is it bad to catch feelings over guys like this? Lip syncers? Yes. What's your type? The mysterious one with glasses or the bad, unpredictable one? I'm not gonna play it because of copyright, but he's lip syncing to that song. It's like, shorty a little baddie, she my little boo thing, shorty got the fatty, etc., etc. So just use your imagination. Well, you're not really giving me many choices here. All right, don't have a lot to work with. There are only two genders, okay? okay. The, mysterious the mysterious one with glasses, glasses or the bad, bad unpredictable, unpredictable one. one. Tag yourself, I'm the bad unpredictable one. I love to commit heinous crimes on a whim. Thought I'd say, which I'm pretty sure most guys can agree with me. Um, we don't want the same hi, hello, what are you doing conversation. Be weird, it's way more interesting. Thank you so much for that advice, Michael. Next time I try to start a conversation with somebody, I will try and be as weird as possible and I will refrain from saying things like, hi, hello, how are you? I instead will do something very weird to get your attention. I will make sure of it. Instead of the run of the mill, hi, hello, you know what, Michael? I'm gonna send you a video of me trying to catch moths into my mouth so that I can chew it up and then spit it into a jar and then give it to you as a gift, as a part of my courting process. Or maybe I'll send you the entire script for the movie Shrek but replace every fourth word with your name. Once, Once upon, upon a Jake, a Jake there was a there Jake, was a Jake princess. princess. But she but Jake, Jake, an enchantment, enchantment upon Jake. Jake. A, fearful a fearful Jake, Jake which could only could Jake, Jake broken Jake by love's Jake, Jake kiss. kiss. But you know, you are right. That's much more interesting than, you know, saying hi. Um, so you heard it here first, girls. If you want to get a guy's attention, be weird, okay? Like, actually weird. Make them concerned. Here's what some guys think, even though all girls are pretty in some way. Okay, T. Oh my god, you know what? I hate talking to new people. I hate social gatherings. I'd rather just stay home and, you know, watch Netflix and pizza all day. Well, not watch the pizza, eat the pizza. 
Okay, completely unrelated to this, but I'm completely repulsed by my own face and body. Hungry 24-7, also not related to this, but my stomach is growling like a bear at a salmon buffet right now. I mean, I could really go for a 27 course meal. Watching this video. Oh my God, that's so weird. What a coincidence. I guess I just like fit all the criteria for like being the prettiest girl. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Ugh, I feel malnourished. Oh my God. POV, your serial killer ex-boyfriend followed you home. Oh my God, here we go. Hey, beautiful. Leave us alone. Please don't hurt us. I just want to talk. How are the kids? Don't you dare bring my kids into this, Michael. Like, I'm sorry, just how are we supposed to react to this? Like, ugh, don't I just love a man who stalks you 24-7 and tries to break into your house with your family and mildly threatens your kids? Like, ugh, bae. Here's another multiple choice quiz. Uh, Noah Beck or Noah Centineo? All right, okay, let me think about that real quick. I choose Momo from Twice. Look who I found protesting. And it, uh, it's Sean Mendez. I'm sorry, but the thought of someone, you know, being at a protest and supposedly trying to fight for a cause that is very serious and significant to the state of our nation, and then seeing a celebrity and being like, oh my gosh, Sean Mendes, like, I don't know, it's just so, like, weird. Like, imagine a person being like, we are gathered here today to discuss the trials and tribulations that we have gone through as a nation, um, specifically racial injustices, and, oh my god, is that Sean Mendes? Oh my god, Sean, I love you, Sean. I'll be needing stitches. Imagine being so attractive, but thinking in your own mind that you're not. Do you have a girlfriend? I do not. Why? I'm ugly. I'm sorry, but this is like Jeff Bezos posting a TikTok, being like, why don't you have a girlfriend? And he's like, oh, I'm so poor. I'm like on the poverty line. Listen, everyone is entitled to their insecurities. I'm not saying that this guy, you know, can't possibly be, you know, insecure, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I mean, I just feel like there's a certain level of attractiveness where it's like, you have to know that you're not ugly. You don't even have to think you're hot, but you just have to know that you're not ugly or be able to conceptualize that even if you perceive yourself as being unattractive, that other people think you're hot. But honestly, you know, if he is posting this, he knows all the comments are gonna be like compliments towards him. Like, are you like kidding? Like you're obviously not ugly. So maybe he is insecure because why else would he be like fishing for compliments, you know? But imagine if I posted something like this, like, hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know. And today I am so ugly. Like seriously guys, comment down below if you think I look like a disfigured ogre. You know, no wonder I don't have a girlfriend. I'm just literally repugnant to look at. Every time I look in the mirror, I have to hold a bucket next to me in case I projectile vomit. But you know, if you think I'm wrong and you disagree with me, you can, you know, leave a comment, whatever, like, share, you know, hit the bell, you know, whatever. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I haven't done a laid back commentary video like this in a while, so um, I was feeling lazy. And that's what I felt like doing. So I hope you all enjoyed and uh, until next time. I forgot the other hand.